Manchester City remain within touching distance of Premier League leaders Arsenal after securing a dominant 5-1 win over Wolverhampton Wanderers at the Etihad Stadium on Saturday evening. Leading marksman Erling Haaland inspired the citizens to victory with four goals, including a first-half hat-trick, slotting two composed penalties beyond Jose S.A. either side of a powerful header at the back post. Wang Hechan pulled one back for Wolves shortly after half-time, but their hopes of a comeback quickly evaporated when Holland fired home his fourth less than a minute later to restore City's three-goal advantage. Holland, who had a plethora of chances to score more in the final half-hour, received a standing ovation as he left the field in the closing stages, before his replacement Julian Alvarez slotted home a fifth to seal a comfortable victory for Pep Guardiola's men. Victory for Man City means they remain second in the table but have moved back to within one point of leaders Arsenal, who beat Bournemouth 3-0 earlier this afternoon, and still have a game in hand on the Gunners. The citizens have also extended their impressive unbeaten home run in all competitions to 43 matches, setting a new club record after surpassing the previous 42-game streak set between December 1919 and November 1921. As for Wolves, they remain 11th in the top flight standings and their slim hopes of sneaking into the top seven are officially over, after today's defeat and also a 4-1 win for sixth-placed Newcastle United at Burnley. Gary Onal's side now sit eight points adrift of Manchester United in seventh with only two games remaining. After marking his return from injury with a goal as a substitute in last weekend's 2-0 win at Nottingham Forest, Holland made his presence felt once again against Wolves after being recalled to Guardiola's starting lineup along with Matteo Kovacic and Phil Foden, the latter returning after recovering from illness. The champions looked hungry from the off and after a few early chances, Jisco Guardiola was wiped out in the box by Ryan Aitnori after blazing a shot over, giving referee Craig Pawson no other choice but to point to the penalty spot in the 12th minute. Holland stepped up and sent S.A. the wrong way with a confident spot kick. Man City continued to dominant proceedings, but just as Wolves began to grow into the contest, the citizens doubled their lead ten minutes before the break when Rodri clipped a looping cross towards the back post for Holland to thump a towering header into the far corner. Guardiola's side were then awarded another penalty on the stroke of half-time after Nelson Simadou was penalised, following an on-field VAR review for a late challenge on Holland who had burst through on goal. The Norwegian once again made no mistake from the penalty spot, firing the ball to the right of SA for a second time to complete his hat-trick, becoming just the third different player to score two first-half hat-tricks in Premier League history, the other scored against Nottingham Forest last season, after Andrew Cole and Michael Owen. Wolves failed to register a single shot on goal in the first half, but they scored with what proved to be their only attempt on target throughout the match five minutes after the break to give them a glimmer of hope. Substitute Jean Rickner Belgard, who replaced Mario Lemina at halftime, burst down the right and whipped an inviting cross into the danger zone, one that Ederson failed to deal with and swatted straight into the path of Wang to confidently tap home at the back post, his second goal in as many games against City. Wolves' celebrations were instantly muted, though as Holland went up the other end less than a minute later to score his and City's fourth, meeting a lofted through ball from Foden before shrugging off a challenge from Max Kilman and whipping a powerful strike into the far corner, beating SA all ends up. Holland has now moved on to 25 goals in the Premier League this season and is in the driving seat to win a second successive golden boot, as he now sits five clear of his nearest challengers Alexander Isaac and Cole Palmer, both on 20 goals. The visitors were left deflated by City's fourth goal and had great difficulty finding a way through the hosts' resilient backline, while Holland at the other end had numerous chances to score a fifth. Not long after having a right-footed shot tipped over by S.A., Holland was lining himself up for an acrobatic effort, attempting to meet a floated delivery from Foden, but Todi Gomez got his head to the ball first to make a vital clearance. Man City then rubbed salt into Wolves' wounds when substitute Alvarez rolled a clinical strike into the bottom right corner five minutes from time to seal three valuable points for Guardiola and Co. The citizens are next in action against Fulham at Craven Cottage on May 11, the same day Wolves welcome Crystal Palace to Molyneux.
Erling Haaland scored four goals, including a first-half hat-trick, as champions Manchester City crushed Wolves 5-1 to retain control of the Premier League title race. Pep Guardiola's side needed to respond to leaders Arsenal's comfortable victory over Bournemouth earlier on Saturday and they did so emphatically, with a clinical takedown of their hapless visitors at the Etihad Stadium. Holland struck twice from the penalty spot in the first half, either side of a towering header, before adding a fourth with a stunning strike. Substitute Julian Alvarez also got on the score sheet, while Wolves' consolation came from Wang Hechan. The victory lifted City, chasing an unprecedented fourth successive league crown, back within a point of the Gunners with a game in hand. Holland's outstanding display took his tally for the campaign to 36 in all competitions and lifted him to 25, 5 clear of his nearest challengers, in the race for the Premier League's golden boot. His hat-trick was also his ninth in City colours. For Wolves players there was little escape from the onslaught, although manager Gary O'Neill may have been relieved his touchline ban kept him hidden from view. City's determination was clear from the outset and it came as no surprise that they soon took the lead, although there was debate over their first penalty after 12 minutes. Jesko Gvardiel was shaping to shoot as Ryan Aitnori attempted to clear and the pair collided. The decision could have gone either way but referee Craig Pawson awarded the spot kick and Holland confidently tucked away. Aided by some poor Wolves defending, City could soon have had more as Kevin De Bruyne shot wide and Wolves goalkeeper Jose S.A. pushed away a Holland header. Phil Foden dribbled through the area only to lose control at the vital moment. The inevitable second came in the 35th minute as Rodri won possession, continued his run and exchanged passes with De Bruyne before lofting across to the back post where Holland rose magnificently to head past S.A. The Norwegian completed his treble in first half stoppage time with a second penalty after he was brought down by Nelson Simadou. This time Pawson was not convinced but pointed to the spot after reviewing the challenge on the pitch side monitor. Wolves, who offered little before the break, pulled one back against the run of play after 53 minutes. City keeper Ederson, who overcame a shoulder injury to start, Palmed across from Jean Rickner Belgard into the path of Wang and the Korean turned the ball into the net. Yet any hopes Wolves, or even Arsenal, might have had of a fight back were dispelled immediately and resoundingly by Holland. The forward latched onto a long ball from Foden and cut inside to blast a ferocious shot into the far corner from just inside the area. Holland almost had a fifth moments later as he forced a fine save from S.A. but, after also denying Mateo Kovacic, the keeper was beaten again by Alvarez five minutes from time. Erling Holland produced a breathtaking performance as Manchester City beat Wolves 5-1, scoring four goals as the champions moved to within three wins of a record fourth consecutive Premier League title. Arsenal's comfortable victory over Bournemouth earlier on Saturday extended the Gunners' lead at the top of the table to four points but Pep Guardiola's team, who hold a game in hand, were never panicked. Manchester City have three matches left in their quest for the Premier League title. They travel to Fulham on Saturday May 11th, kick off 12.30 p.m., before visiting Tottenham on Tuesday May 14th, live on Sky Sports, kick off 8 p.m. City then finish the season at home to West Ham on Sunday May 19th, kick off 4 p.m. A fantastic four-goal display from Erling Holland helped earn City a 5-1 win over Wolves at the Etihad Stadium and move us within one point of the Premier League summit. The Norwegian was at his unstoppable best as he converted two penalties and an incredible header to seal a ninth City hat trick before the halftime whistle was blown. He then added the fourth eight minutes into the second period to restore City's three-goal advantage just moments after Wolves forward Wang Hechan had scored. Late substitute Julian Alvarez, making his 100th City appearance, added further gloss to the score Aline with a fifth in the closing stages. Pep Guardiola's side have now gone 20 league matches without defeat and, with a game in hand on leaders Arsenal, are just three victories from a record fourth successive top flight title. City 11, Ederson, Walker, C, Akinji, Ake, Stone 69, Gvardiol, Rodrigo, Kavakic, De Bruyne, Nunes 80, Foden, Grealish 80, Bernardo, Doku 80, 
Holland, Alvarez 82. Subs, Ortega Moreno, Diaz, Gomez, Lewis. Wolves 11, S.A., C. Madug, Todi, Kilman, C., H. Bueno, S. Bueno 70, Traor, Gomez, Lemina, Belgarde 45, 8. Nori, Cunha, Sarabia 76, Wang. Subs, Bentley, Doherty, Gonzalez, Okaduwa, Chirwa, Fraser. Erling Holland, 21 career hat tricks at the age of 23. 9 in City Colors and 6 in the Premier League. The Norwegian is a goal scoring machine. Having missed a couple of games in April, Holland returned as a second half substitute in last week's win at Nottingham Forest and was immaculate as he sealed the three points. He was simply unplayable in this one, demonstrating all of the qualities that make him the deadliest striker anywhere in the world. David Silva is one of the greatest players in Manchester City's history. The Spaniard made 436 appearances for City between 2010 and 2020, winning 13 major trophies and recognition as one of the most graceful players the Premier League has ever seen. As his departure came while football was played behind closed doors due to COVID, City fans have never had the chance to properly demonstrate our gratitude. The now-retired playmaker can now be in no doubt just how much he is loved in Manchester. Minutes before kickoff, the 38-year-old was introduced to the crowd and appeared pitch side with his family. What followed was an outpouring of adoration for a player that is immortalized with his own statue outside the Etihad Stadium. City are just one point behind Arsenal at the top of the Premier League with a game in hand. City have 82 points from 35 games, while the Gunners are on 83 after 36 outings. As such, we know three more victories will seal a record fourth successive Premier League title. City head to Craven Cottage next weekend to face Marco Silva's Fulham. That match kicks off at 12.30, UK, on Saturday May 11. City beat the Cottagers 5-1 in the reverse fixture at the Etihad back in September. Thank you for watching this video.